the refugees started coming in Uganda. That was the 28th of March to 29th. That's when we had the biggest number crossing over. And uh, as the Red Cross, since that time, we've given a number of intervention, including uh, you know, water and sanitation, hygiene promotion, where we've constructed latrines, uh, bathing shelters were constructed as well, uh, training of hygiene promoters to ensure that uh, there is, they, they inform the community awareness on the hygiene issues and uh, also personal hygiene. Because of the pressure of the new, uh, new arrivals, we end up also decommissioning latrines at uh, time and again, which also increases the need for, uh, for more latrines uh, at this uh, holding area. We've also done uh, waste management where we help on the sanitation aspects of it and training their beneficiaries to keep their environment clean. We have also supported with water and uh, we have installed uh, a T95 tank which is, has a capacity of 95,000 liters and we have also installed other five tanks that each is 10,000 liters and this has enabled it the beneficiaries access water, we correlate it on a daily basis. As the Red Cross, we are also working on uh, protection and also child protection issues, including uh, restoring uh, family links and tracing for the UAMs and cap and minors. Uh, during war, there is separation and children first separate from their family members. And uh, as so far here in the, at the transit center, we have uh, uh, worked on uh, all registered children who are about over 300 children with tracing needs. Uh, over 100 already are reunified with their parents and some with the two convoys that we have had uh, that go to Nakivare, we've had uh, about 75 children go to Nakivare, especially to meet with their relatives uh, and uh, we are also offering phone call services where these children who have their numbers of their parents get in touch with their parents. Uh, and uh, also maintain links with the parents and contact uh, of our, the, offer, the telephone services that we're offering. We would want to thank uh, the government of Uganda, the UN agencies, the partners that are working in this uh, refugee response, including uh, Red Cross partners, uh, IFRC, uh, ICRC, Belgian Red Cross, Australian Red Cross, uh, Netherlands Red Cross and we also would want to thank the ECHO that uh, it has really taken us a, a greater stride into interventions that we're offering to the beneficiaries uh, at this transit and holding cup in uh, Nyakabande.